All right, welcome back, Math 10-3. Today's lesson is continuation of chapter 8.1 and 8.2, which was about Pythagorean theorem and how to apply Pythagorean theorem. Today's lesson involved uh, first step of trigonometry, um, sine ratio, and followed by we're going to also learn cosine ratio. Tangent ratio will be done maybe separately or if we have a good enough of time we may get into there too but probably focus on two lessons if I can um, so trigonometry is such an important skill because it use and I'm gonna put that in there We generally use one given side or measured side and one angle. We call it reference angle. If you think about this condition, it is really evident that it is completely different approach than Pythagorean theory because Pythagorean theory requires two sides. It doesn't matter which side. It can be A and B or B and C or A and C. It doesn't matter what type of combination. Know the fact that C is hypotenuse. Before we getting into sine ratio, here is what I want to point it out. I want you to draw. And the way that I'm going to lead chapter 8.3, which you can see in page 222, is quite different than workbook procedure. So it is a good idea to write down as we go, like how we do our lesson. Um, here's the thing. I want you to draw any right angle triangle. We are going to do identifying step first. Right angle triangle... I'm going to use two examples. One of the example, let's say, I have a reference angle over this side, on the, located on the right side, and I'm going to use Greek letter, theta. This is like an oval shape with line that go out like this. Theta. That's my reference angle. We, it is important to understand that when it comes to trigonometry, there are technically three type of ratio, which is sine, chapter 8.3, cosine, which you can find in chapter 8.4, uh, and tangent, which is 8.5. Regardless of whatever ratio that you use, it is important to understand that the longest side is known as hypotenuse. From now on, I'm going to put HYP. And whatever this reference angle that directly face against which is a length mm -hmm. over here we're no longer going to call it length we're going to call it opposite mm -hmm. which i'm going to put opp as a shortened word i like to avoid the word o mm -hmm. because that looked like zero in math if that makes sense with you so hypotenuse is a longest side Opposite is whatever the facing against to the reference angle side I'm going to call opposite. And the last one I'm going to call adjacent, which is like the word suggests, adjacent means right next to. Basically, right next to an angle, right next to a 90 degree at the same time. So we call it adjacent. A, D, J is what I'm going to put. It is important to understand these three side as an identification. This is one of the situation. Now, you may see another situation, which I'm going to draw below over here. I'll push it a little bit. What about if the reference angle is located on the top? Don't get panicked. The longest hypotenuse, it's easy to find. 
If you really want to use ruler, feel free. Even if it's drawn in scale, it should be the longest side, hypotenuse. And whatever the angle face against, opposite. Right next to the angle, both of the angle, 90 degree and reference angle, is known as adjacent. So here's the thing, compared to the first diagram and second diagram, depends on where my reference angle is located. Hypotenuse didn't change. These guys are carbon stone. And that stays the same too. Like if you remember A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared in Pythagorean theorem, C is the longest side. That's a hypotenuse. So hypotenuse never change. The only thing that changes opposite adjacent depends on the perspective. So I like to say depends on the perspective. And that perspective is basically adjacent or opposite. Those are what you need to understand before we getting into sine ratio and cosine ratio. Now, since we're now understanding the very first step, which is identifying the side, I'm going to talk about sine ratio. Sine, first of all, in calculator, it looked like this. And what, going, what goes inside is basically your angle. So from now on, calculator, even yesterday too, but some you can do mental math, but really rarely. Calculator is really important. And whenever you use sine, it is actually S-I-N-E as a spelling, but in calculator, it's used as sin. In fact, I can show you like this too. Even if you're not using the graphing calculator, you're using the um, just scientific chip calculator, you should have sine, cosine, tangent in it. Just look at your button. Um, so here's the thing. Angle, your reference angle, go inside of the sine symbol. So sine followed by angle. Or, depends on model, angle followed by sine button. In either case, sine of the angle is always equivalent to opposite over hypotenuse. This is a formula that you have to understand. Sometimes I call this, and then you may learn this way before, so ka toa. Basically, it's a fancy way of saying sine is opposite over hypotenuse. The order go like this. Ka mean cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And toa, at this point you may know, tangent is equivalent to opposite over adjacent. So understand this little jingle, if you will. So ka toa. In either case, what I wrote on the left side over here is known as sine ratio. Whatever the right angle triangle with different measurement that you may have, regardless of the size of it, as long as you can have the fraction or decimal value of opposite over hypotenuse, that turn out to be always equal to sine of the reference angle. But in order to do opposite over hypotenuse, you need to understand that we need to identify which side represent which. So have that in your mind. We are going to do some class example. I want you to go to page 223 of your booklet. Page 223, there are two examples. One of them is example number one. I'm going to read the question. Lewis is cleaning the rain gutters around the roof. At what height does her letter touch the building? So, there's a drawing that is occur, but I'm going to draw just an important section, right angle triangle section. So, letter length is given as 10 feet. And letter is basically leaning against the wall. This is the wall, and of course, that's the ground level. 
the angle is given as 74 degree of course um, to be fair this is looking more like 47 but 74 is obtuse angle so it's getting closer to 90 degree but please understand my um, uh, how can I say my uh, limitation of drawing the question is asking you about the height over here and of course it's a measurement problem so don't forget unit now very first step identifying what's what I have reference angle given in here I'm gonna name that as theta the longest side that I have, I know that it's hypotenuse. My angle facing side is known as opposite. That means I have the bottom adjacent. It is important to understand each of them. Of course, in this case, to find out my unknown, I need to have at least one known length and angle 74 so this example definitely use sine and I can use this first of all copy the formula sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse and what I'm going to do is substitute things in sine of 74 degree is equal to opposite which is hypotenuse on the top and then hypotenuse is 10 feet at the bottom and we are trying to find this variable h over there Right now, h and 10 feet are undergoing division. So opposite of division is multiplication. So multiply 10 feet on both sides. Then you will get rid of this 10 feet. And if I rewrite, 10 feet times by sine 74 degree is what I need to punch in inside of the calculator. So 10 times sine 74, like I said, depends on some of your model. You may notice that 74 followed by sine is what you need to put in your calculator. It really depends on the model. But in any case, if you multiply, uh, you will get this 9.61 blah, blah, blah. You have to round it up, round it up to two decimal place I know that the question on the workbook says one decimal place but in reality you guys will be more precise and two digit actually help your life a little bit more um, accurate and precise so here's what I'm going to do 9.61 feet is my height but we round it up so you may notice that I'm putting a little squiggling wave equal sign and that 9.61 feet must be my height. There is a one way that I can double check. Can you see my hypotenuse is 10 feet? And if you guys remember, hypotenuse should be the longest side, right? Thank goodness that 9.61 is smaller than 10 feet. If you somehow get this length as or this measurement of height more than 10, like 11 feet, then you did something wrong. That's what I want to do uh, for this question. Example number two on the same page. We're going to pick up some pace. A communications tower is 20 meter. For extra support, cables must be attached. How much cable is knitted to the nearest meter? So right now we have, I know that, you know what? I'm going to just copy the diagram that is given. What about that? 60 degree, 60 degree, and we have 20 meter, and that is a cable. We are trying to find the cable's length. So I know that this is two triangle situation, but honestly, you can just consider one of the triangle that play a huge role. So you can temporarily ignore that. Now, I have my angle of reference on the right side. So that means my cable is my hypotenuse. 20 meter is facing against the angle. So that's my opposite. That's my adjacent. I know that we are talking about sine. So adjacent doesn't play a huge role, but it's going to play a huge role soon enough. So what I need to do now is basically use sine of an angle that is equivalent to opposite 
over hypotenuse. If you want to just substitute directly, feel free. Opposite is 20 meter. Hypotenuse is my C. And sine angle will be equivalent to sine 60. So I can substitute everything like the way that you see over here. But once you find out, you can uh, move things around. So the way that you move things around is this. You can switch the denominator to whatever the number that you have or expression that you have on the right side. Because if you think about opposite operation, to get rid of the denominator, you are going to multiply by C on both sides, so they will be canceled. But on the right side, then it's going to be sine 60 followed by multiply by C. So you need to move sine to the other side by dividing. So long story short, if you have fraction on one side and a whole number or whole expression on the other side, just switch around. So C is equal to 20 meter over sine 60 degree. Then you will have 23.09 blah 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 blah. So I can just say with the rounded number 23.09 meter is how much cable you require for this situation. This can be a bit of a challenge for some people, but once you get the identification step, it shouldn't be tough. Without further ado, let's go to uh, chapter 8.4. Cosine is our last. It is available on page 226 of your booklet. Now, as I mentioned, so ka toa. You may want to, if you want to memorize, that actually is okay way of doing it, even though you will have formula sheet. So means sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Chi is cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Toa, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we're going to focus on ka. Cosine of an angle is equivalent to adjacent over hypotenuse is my next trigonometric formula. The reason I emphasize cosine is because I'm going to use sine on the next two. Sine and cosine is very similar if you actually compare the ratio. As you notice, there is some similarity. In fact, hypotenuse are located both at the bottom. Cosine and sine, it's just a different button in your calculator, but you put it on the left side. Cosine angle on the left side or sine angle on the left side. Only thing that difference be differ from these two is basically the use of adjacent on the top for cosine and up op or opposite on the top for sine situation. So, without further ado, let's do some quick example on page 227. It does have my name involved. Huh, that's a good thing. Example number one. During winter, Kim and Bo snowmobile to each other's place. How far is it from each friend's place to the nearest town, to the nearest tenth of kilometer? We are given a diagram that is fortunately right angle triangle. Kim's place is located over here, town located over here, Bo's place is located below. The given value is 24 degree, 5.5 kilometer, and 90 degree over here. And we are trying to find this K. You, or you can put it X, Y, Z, something like that. I'm just simply following the entire situation. And at the same time, we are trying to find this B situation. So as you may notice, there's two unknown. There are several ways that you can do this. One of the um, thing that I'm going to go over is basically using trigonometry. So let's try to find B first. 
Now, if you look at the triangle, like I said, the very first step is identifying. The longest side, hypotenuse. That's no brainer. Reference angle is located below. So the one that is opposing the below angle is on the top. So that's facing side. K should be my opposite. B should be my adjacent. And that's of course easier easier for some people if you find if you want to find adjacent first because you should have both 90 degree and 24 degree or whatever reference angle right next to that side. So long story short, we got it. In order to find B, as you may notice, we need an angle and given side. So I need to use hypotenuse and adjacent to figure out B. So we got a conclusion that cosine of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse is what we need to use to find the B's uh, measurement. So let's punch in. Cosine 24 degrees equal to adjacent is B, which we don't know. So a very variable over hypotenuse 5.5 kilometer. It is a situation where my unknown is on the top, denominator is 5.5, so multiply by 5.5 on both sides. So what I have is B is equal to 5.5 times cosine 24. Then I have 5.02, something like that. Of course, it's round the number. The next part, number two, we are trying to find K value, which is what we don't know. K, if you look at it, I need to use one of the angle, 24. I need to use given length, hypotenuse, and we need to somehow use hypotenuse and opposite involving trigonometry, which is so over here. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So I can say this is a situation sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, and that's what I need to use. And I can use simply sine of 24 degree is equal to opposite k over hypotenuse 5.5 kilometer you can do that as you may notice it's the exact same situation so times by 5.5 times by 5.5 on both sides then you will figure out that 5.5 will be gone and only thing that we have is k is equal to 5.5 times, in this case, sine 24. Then you will have 2.24 if you round it up. 2.24 kilometer for my K distance. That is how you can use trigonometry, sine, and cosine. And that is today's lesson.